And this little person right here. That's Destiny Arzola, a seven-year-old girl with Down syndrome, being helped by a stunned neighbor who says he was just doing what he hopes anyone would, returning a lost little girl to the school he figured she'd wandered away from. She just decided to walk in the house. No, no supervision, no nothing. She literally just came straight through here. Anton still can't quite believe it. He's sitting here watching TV little before noon. Then I see this little face peep around the corner. Woodson South Elementary is just a couple of blocks away, so off they went. Thing is, he says, when he got there, he found staff were grateful, but... They were making it seem like it wasn't a big deal. As a parent, I was heated. I was very, very upset. Frankly, he's still very upset. He called the police, tried to get some answers from the school. His concern, simply put, all the things that can happen to a lost child in a big city. And that's what bothers me as a parent. They just took her and made it seem like this is something that happens. It's a regular occurrence just because she's a special needs student. Anything could have happened to her, anything. And it's scary. It's scary, really scary. And then to find out it wasn't the first time. I did not know that. Yeah, we just caught up with Destiny's mother a short time ago. She tells us she loves this school, says her daughter really benefits from being here, but she doesn't know if she can stay now. She's planning on coming back tomorrow to talk to staff about how to keep this from ever, ever happening again. And Chicago Public Schools tonight tells WGN News they are looking into this as well. Live in the North Canada.